Good afternoon ladies and gents and welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for clicking that button and joining me for today's video. I hope you're all well. Now before we crack on with today's video I have a couple of important announcements I think you guys would want to hear. So first of all if you haven't already seen it the channel as of yesterday has surpassed 10 thousand subscribers now this is an absolute gargantuan milestone for me i never dreamed this possible but with your guys help and support we have made it to this point in time and uh, my absolute gratitude to all of my absolutely fantastic viewers so thank you very much for that second of all i know a lot of you guys have been asking for janine to set up her own channel you'll be glad to hear her channel is now active and she has her first video on there so if you've not already seen that uh, the link to the channel is down in the video description of this video um, so if you will be as kind to her as you have been to me, go across, subscribe and show your support. She will immensely be uh, very, very grateful. Thank you. Now on to today's video and it's a good one. And at the end of the video, we are going to give away today's review piece to one of my loyal channel members. So if you are a member of the channel, stay tuned because you could be the lucky winner of this fantastic torch. Now, a while ago, the fantastic folk over at Trustfire sent me their Mini Times 3 EDC. We did review this on the channel. And this has now lived forever in my pocket as my everyday carry. You can see there it's got some lovely patina um, and the truss fire symbol has now worn off on the button, but still absolutely highly functional. Um, it hasn't missed a beat. Fantastic little torch. Since then, truss fire has been back in contact with myself asking me to look at another one of their torches. Now, if you are a regular viewer of the channel, you'll be well aware of mine and the missus homeless crisis that lasted uh, just over seven weeks um, we went from a tent to a caravan and now we're in a two bedroom flat um, i'm not sure whether the guys over at trust fire seen that video but they offered me a small portable lantern um, probably to illuminate the tent at the time or a stupidly large diving torch now i do like stupidly large things and that's what my missus calls me sometimes so we went with the diving torch so today ladies and gents we are looking at the trust fire TDF002 diving torch. Let's talk about it. Now, as you can probably see with your eyes, today we are in my local woodland and nowhere near the ocean. So for me to review this torch in accordance with the product specifications, I would need two things. First one being some very, very expensive diving gear, scuba tanks, things like that. Second of all, I would need the ability to swim and I can barely make it across the length of a pool without picking up an ear infection. So. How we're going to review this torch today is as a, an offensive weapon, not a weapon, an offensive flashlight with diving capabilities. So let's start off with a good old box contents introduction and then we'll go over some specifications for the actual flashlight. So as you can see, the torch comes in a nice protective clamshell case and gaining access to the case is simple. The two clips on the front, just pull them forward, pull them open and open the case and that will give you access to all the components inside. So first off, we have the usual USB-C cable, which is how this torch is charged. We have a lanyard in the bag. In this little packet we have a tub of lubricating grease. This is for the threads when you've opened the torch uh, and to keep that o-ring nice and supple. We also have a couple of destructions. Here we have the LCD charging unit which is a very nice addition to this kit. And then we have the torch in question, just here. Everything in the case is nicely protected with some really strong stiff padding um, and everywhere has its own cutout, so nothing is gonna rattle about in the case during transportation. The DF002 Divers Flashlight from Trustfire is made from high quality aerospace grade aluminium. This flashlight is lightweight yet durable, ensuring top-notch performance and longevity even in the most challenging underwater conditions. Superior waterproof performance specifically designed for diving, it boasts an IPX8 waterproof rating capable of functioning at depths of up to 100 meters, providing a stable light source in underwater environments. With an impressive lumen output of 3200 lumens, the DF002 delivers a powerful and penetrating beam that ensures clear visibility even in murky underwater conditions. The torch also boasts long battery life. Equipped with two 26650 high capacity batteries, this flashlight has a runtime of 60 hours, so you can dive longer without worrying about battery life. The stepless dimming feature allows users to adjust the brightness seamlessly according to their needs. Now, when it comes to the manufacturer's specifications of this torch, we are going to have to take them with a grain of salt. 
as again we haven't got the necessary resources to test this torch the way it should be tested but as you can see we did splash that with some water there so we can say this torch is waterproof and And now it also passes the one meter drop test. Once we attack this from a typical tactical flashlight point of view, there are a few thoughts I can share with you guys and touch on a few things I do like about this torch. So let's crack on. So first of all, let's touch on the aesthetics and the build quality of this torch. So first of all, this feels extremely durable and rugged. So not something you'd be carrying about in your pack. Definitely something to carry about in your vehicle or maybe a uh, long time standing next to your front door. Maybe a survival sort of prepper scenario. Um, it is quite pleasing to the eye. I don't know where the diver sort of thing uh, sort of looks come from it, but it, it certainly looks tactical, especially with that finish, that uh, sandy sort of green. Um, it is very, very nice indeed. We have a lot of indentations around the torch, enabling you to grip this very, very easily. And this will be very pleasing to the lady users of this torch, because again, that shaft, that long hard shaft there is extremely usable to grip extremely easy to grip and you can even grip that ladies with two hands should the need arise um, and you got that swollen tip at the top as well um, and that is easily unscrewable to gain access to the batteries inside so maybe one for the ladies this torch can be tail stood as you've seen in the cutaway on the video um, and if that's your thing this can be mounted tail end on a table to illuminate a room again a very very heavy torch indeed and with that steel bezel on the top this will make a formidable um, weapon if you chose to use it that way um, you crack some skulls very easily with that especially with these nuts on the front as well now one feature that stands out a mile for me um, regarding this torch is just how simplified the interface has been made for the end user now a problem with a lot of modern day torches and I've got a few is just how overly engineered and complicated they are to use with modern day torches you have a million brightness settings you have stepless dimming you have lockout mode and sometimes you feel like you need a, an engineer's degree just to use the bleeding torch this one couldn't be more simplified, and this reminds me of flashlights of your. Remember the old uh, mag lights, things like that? You have one switch on the front, and if you want the full setting, you just go bam. We're on full beam. With all these uh, lumen settings you've got in these modern torches, you're not going to impress someone by going, look how dim my torch is. Every torch I've got when I use it, I double click it if that's required for the highest lumens and that's what I do, I go for the highest setting every time. With this one you've got a lovely smooth switch just here and it's very very smooth to use as well and it's as simple as that. We have got stepless dimming on this torch but it's just a matter of flicking that up as I demonstrated before to achieve your desired brightness. No double clicking and then rotating the bezel and then swinging the torch left to right and all that gubbins. Just a good old fashioned simplicity on, off. I think more manufacturers need to um, adopt this simplicity. Now again the flashlight uses two 26650 cells to function and you'll find them in the shaft of the torch. To gain access to them we simply unscrew the top of the flashlight and there you will find your two 26650 cells. And then we just reattach the head like so to seal that up. A quick note on keeping the threads lubricated with the supply grease just to keep any water out of there. We also have three O-rings as you can see there. Um, I did find a problem actually um, with this and I'll show you there if I can get it on the camera. If you look at the top O-ring there you can see it has been slightly squashed and when it has been applied it has also twisted. Now that can mean waterproof at 100 meters and that can mean letting water in um, at 10 meters so when you're applying your o-rings they do need to be absolutely um, uniform all the way around as you can see there we do have some damage sustained to that top o-ring the bottom one and the middle one seem absolutely fine and if we have a look in the top of the torch head there you see it is very very well sealed with just the connector for sealing the two batteries. Now the torch does use a single Cree LED to illuminate your surroundings. Unfortunately I can't find any specific data on the actual Cree LED used um, but it gives off plenty of light and we'll get some beam shots of this from the balcony um, later tonight. Right ladies and gents, time for a couple of beam shots now from the Trustfire DF002 Divers Flashlight. So, 
The gable end of the masonette, just over there, is around 70 feet away from my position. So we're going to switch the flashlight onto its highest setting and see what the beam is like. So here we go. And that illuminates the side of that masonette very, very nicely. And that is the full intensity of that beam. It's got a nice spread there and we do have some nice spill onto the wall at the side of me. You can't see that, but again, a very, very nice beam. Plenty of light there at 3200 lumens. And if we shine it just off to the left, the tree over there, that's around probably 75 um, feet away that. Well, there we go. Very, very nice. And it illuminates the masonette right to the end there, which is probably another 80 feet. Now, if we shine that off over into the distance, to the houses just over here, they're easily over 100 feet away. And we can see if we... So the torch does reach over there. As you can see, annoying everyone shining the light in the windows, which we probably shouldn't be doing. But just to show you the strength of that beam. And for a final shot, we are on the 8th floor of our flat. So we'll shine that down into the car park. You see there, easily illuminates that area. And again, you have a nice central beam there in the middle. Put some nice spill around it. All in all, the torch does have a lovely profile. And this will make a nice bludgeoning tool, even when the cells have died inside. So from a prepper survivalist standpoint, this could be for you. Now if we take a look at the included charger that comes as part of the kit, you'll see we have a nice LCD display there, displaying all your voltages and currents. Um, when I first put the cells into this charger, they were registering at around 63%. And using the standard 2 amp, uh, 3 volt um, USB from my Bluetti, these took around 5 hours uh, from that state to charge up to 99%. Um, so it is not quick charging by any means, although you could try this from a wall socket and you may get better results. But the way I tested it, it was around five hours. But still, very nice to be included in the kit. Included in the kit is a small spec sheet and this will give you even more useful information regarding the torch's functionality. So if we start on the low side first. So low mode will give you a lumen count of 70 lumens with a runtime of 60 hours, a beam distance of 25 meters and a candela of 156. The torch is droppable from one meter and has an intelligent temperature control, low voltage warning. Going to the extreme side, we have an extreme brightness of 3200 lumens, a runtime of three hours and 40 minutes, a beam distance of 280 meters and a candela of 19,600. Now, ladies and gents, the price, and I know that's what you all want to know. So, as of today, 6th of October on a Sunday, currently on the Trustfire website, the torch is retailing for £178 UK, so around $210. Um, that has been knocked down from £234, so $250. Um, it is an expensive flashlight, and again, only your budget can dictate whether you need this torch or not. I do get a lot of comments saying um, it's too expensive. I review gear that's too expensive, but I can only review gear that's offered to me. Um, whether you want to buy that or not is down to you. I don't make any commission off these. I just do it for the fun and content of the channel, as I've explained before in a community post. So if someone wants to send me a product, a thousand pounds, I'll review that product. And it's down to you whether you want to part with a thousand pounds from your pocket. So 178 pounds for the Trustfire DF002. Sounds like a James Bond torch, doesn't it? Um, and that is a 3200 lumen flashlight. Um, built for diving, which obviously we can't do today. There is a river just off this um, hill here, and it's about 20 metres up. We could just launch it off the top, see if it survives. I'm only kidding. This is now going to be given away to one of my awesome uh, channel members. We have nine so far. Um, so one of you lucky peeps are not going to have to part with any money at all. Um, we're going to do a roulette, including all your names, um, and whoever wins today will have that shipped to them in quick time before Christmas, hopefully. So let's crack on with that. So my awesomely fine fellow channel members uh, and followers, you can see on here, we have all nine channel member names. 
Um, just for full disclosure, my missus name is also on here because she is a channel member um, and she felt sorry for me and joined the channel uh, when I only had one channel member. She was a second, so if she does win this torch, I'm sure she will be giving it away on her own channel um, just to put that out there. So, without further ado, let's spin the wheel of destiny. And today's winner of the Trustfire Torch is, oh, what we got there? Oh, bloody hell, it really is Janine. <laughs> oh my word, bloody hell. I'm gonna make a phone call, just bear with me. Full disclosure this, no cheating, no nothing, if she answers. Hello beautiful lady. Hi, Hi darling. Right, so I have just done the giveaway on the channel. Your name your name was on the wheel. Um I, I'm gonna put you on loudspeaker actually, one minute. Hello? Hi, you okay, darling? Yeah, would you like to say hello to everyone? Hi everybody. <laughs> so you've just won the torch, babe. Oh well, I don't want that. Give it to somebody else. Well I said if you wanted it you could give it away on your channel or shall I spin the wheel again? No, spin the wheel again, please. Okay, oh, we're going to spin the wheel again. I mean, not that I don't want it, I just, I don't, I just want somebody else to have it now, do you know what I mean? I know what you mean. Right, love you, bye. That, Get off the phone, love you, bye. See you in a bit, love you, bye. Bye, love you, bye. So, time to spin the wheel of destiny times two. Who is today's lucky winner of the tour? Ah, here we go. We have Stee O'Rourke, my Canadian friend. You have won the uh, Trustfire DF002, so send me your details, buddy, and I will turn that screen up because we can't see anything. Send me your details, private message, mate, and we'll get that torch sent off to you. Quick time. Well done, and congratulations. That was very, extremely close to Brindle 2009, um, but it did choose the old rock. So well done again, fella, um, and you are the, now the new proud owner of... Um, one tactical looking diver's torch. Hello? Babe, you know when I shouted at you then, I didn't mean it. You know I love you, don't you? You know what I mean? Yeah, of course I do. Yeah, good, good, good. good. I, just, I just didn't want you thinking that, you know, I didn't love you because I was shouting at you on the phone, but I was just trying to get off the phone to spin the wheel again. You know what I mean? So. Okie doke, darling. Love you. See you soon. Bye bye. She's currently making me tea at home, so I need to be nice to her. Don't need to, I like to be nice to her, but you know what. So again, congratulations, Steve. The torch is going to be winging its way over to you very, very soon. Um, I am not sure whether Trustfire actually sent me any discount codes for any of you potential buyers out there watching this video. I will check my emails, and if there is a discount code, I will put it in the description link below. I would also like to take the opportunity to, I would also like to take this opportunity to apologize to the folk over at Trustfire. Um, I have had this review item now for a couple of months at least. Um, and I did say I would get this done in a two week window. But as you know, if you follow the channel, um, our situation was a bit dire at the time and I had no time to get these reviews done. So there we have it. The review is now done. Uh, cracking little torch. I think a fantastic survival torch, um, if nothing more. Um, and if you can't obviously get out to test it in a deep ocean. And that's it again from me, ladies and gents, but I would like to end the video just to say thank you again massively from my heart for everyone that has subscribed to the channel and supported me and the content over the years. It's, it means so much. Also, again, Janine's channel is now active and she's got a first piece of content uploaded on there. Um, for you guys that have followed our homeless journey, you'll see a continuation of that and what we've done in the flat so far. So be sure to go over, check the link in the description, go and check her out and uh, give her a follow from me, please. Thank you. Until the next one, you stay safe and as always, stay crafty. See you again, guys. Bye-bye.